In today's video, we're going to continue to talk about one of the best off-meta offenses in Madden, and it is the far tight slot out of the West Coast offensive playbook. Today, we're going to be talking about how to attack the sidelines with this formation, and the play we're going to be utilizing is X-Spot. Now, it's been the best play in the formation. It's the power play of this offense. It is our base play, and is a play that with really simple adjustments, you can actually run this at a pretty high level. So, uh, X-Spot is the play, and today's setup really excited for you. You are going to need either a hot route master or a backfield master type of ability uh, to make this as optimal as you can but if you don't have that i'm going to give you something that you can do now the first thing we want to do with this play is we want to be able to beat man coverage and if you think about what we've done with this offense what we've typically been doing is utilizing slants and post routes to kind of get routes open over the middle of the field. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna attack the sideline of the field to kind of keep them honest, especially on the short side. So what we wanna do is we wanna have our two wide receivers to the short side of the field. And the setup we're gonna be using today is we're gonna streak the left side receiver. We are going to drag route our tight end and we're gonna angle route our, or Texas route our running back. It's one of my favorite route combinations in the entire game because it is a simple flood or sail concept. Left to right is the read Progression. Our first read is always going to be this running back route. If he's open, we're going to throw it to him. This route to um, the circle receiver is one of the best routes in the game. Now, one of the things real quick I want to point out, this is one of our first five out setups that I'm recommending. And what we want to do with this five out setup is we really want to take advantage of the fact that if they are running a true cover zero, this uh, streak is going to get wide open if they press. So if they press you in man coverage, your streak should be wide open, especially if you have the short out elite ability on that player. Now, again, if you guys are looking to take your Madden game to the next level, I'd really encourage you to check out the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks, and it gets you access to all of my full offensive and defensive eBooks, as well as pro tips to help you uh, fine tune the best schemes in Madden. So if you want to check that out, the link's in the description but real quick the other thing is what if they five uh send five at us out of man coverage this running back quick throw to the flat is super 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 good like you need to be throwing this flat route now as you see right there there is a little bit of a tip um that i wanted to offer you guys today with throwing this running back flat routes couple things if you have backfield master or hot route master you can put him on a table route and what he'll do is he'll shoot out a little bit more and you could actually highball the route uh which is really really helpful now another thing that you can do with this is if you don't let's say you don't have um you know any kind of like running back uh, abilities or whatever you can also swing past him and if you swing past him what is going to happen here is, you know, again, you're going to high, ball, high point it to get it out there a little bit more. And as you can see, it can be a really advantageous play uh, to beat the blitz. Now, um, the other thing I want to say real quick is you are seeing a little bit of a man switch if we use a route that's not the actual route on the play. OK, so if we utilize this play as is, what it does is it creates this really cool route. And if you high point this flat, it becomes one of the best snap throw routes in the game. Notice that when I put a swing a wheel or a flat route the safety would basically man swap um, but if I don't utilize that if I just leave him on the stock route that is on the play um, then what you're gonna notice is I he's never gonna switch and I can high point the flat route so I'm holding LB when I'm throwing that and I'm just passing it outside and he's gonna catch it with that little jump animation and so what this causes the defense to have to do is now they have to make significant amount of adjustments and it's a really easy setup for us so what we're gonna do here the other thing is really cool is if you wanted to quick snap this play just streak this left side player and you can literally snap it as fast as humanly possible so another thing that i wanted to show you with this is what they basically have to do is they either are going to have to not blitz you or they're going to have to basically go to what's known as the scissor adjustment on that side where they're going to do something like this but now as you can see there's nobody guarding the fullback in man cover so now they got to really again make some really good adjustments to be able to defend all this and they're sending five okay under center typically in my experience picks up this three three cut blitz a little bit better but even even though they are sending five here the corner route on the left side should get wide open against man coverage because two reasons the first reason is because if you try to press him in man-to-man -man, he's always going he's never going to get jammed so they can't press this guy in man-to-man -man coverage the other reason why this should be able to be really effective against whether it be man or zone is because the tight end route over the middle so 
the tight end right over the middle, when you drag him, a lot of times he's going to beat man coverage and he's going to beat it right over in this little pocket right there. And then the user is going to have to make a decision. Am I going to use her the tight end or am I going to use her the fullback? So to kind of illustrate that, we're going to make some adjustments here. But as you can see, I mean, there's significant amount of adjustments I have to make to even give myself a good chance uh, to be able to defend this play, especially if I want to send pressure. And the other thing about this is, is this fullback route, this little angle route, when it cuts inside, it beats man-to-man -man pretty consistently. So you have that as a really nice option uh, to be able to uh, give you access to a man-beating principle. Not to mention the fact that this play is really extremely effective and really designed to beat zone at a pretty high level. So what you're going to notice against zone here is this corner route is always going to win. It's always going to win against cover four and cover three, especially if you run with your two wide receivers to the short side of the field now the best way that they can uh the best way they can defend this is basically a backed off cloud flat uh to to, to basically defend the corner route now the coverage is going to look something like this and this is where this uh defense is super super good or this uh, offense is really good so they have to do all of that stuff to over there on the left side to basically have a shot right um and you'll see here like this corner out can get over the top of a cloud but if they drop that back to 30 yards it's going to be in about the right spot um so what we're going to do defensively or uh, offensively is now we're going to put this user defender in a lot of conflict because the user defender has to choose am i going to guard the tight end or am i going to guard the fullback and if he chooses to guard the tight end or the fullback then you see here the tight end is wide open quick out of the backfield. Again, the most popular covers that you're going to see whenever someone's trying to stop this offense is something like this. And then this guy is going to kind of practically speaking, he's going to practically kind of play like a hook curl defender. The problem with this coverage is typically they're going to take the tight end. And when they go to take the tight end, then I'm just going to pass lead it up and hit this uh, fullback route. Now, this is where this play is really good if you don't have a uh, backfield master fullback. So if you don't have a backfield master fullback um, or a hot route master quarterback, what you can do uh, to still get the same kind of effect, especially against zone, is just streak the fullback. Um, and what you'll see, or I apologize, not, well, is he not going to go right? Let's, let me check the streak here. Okay, so just wheel the fullback, apologize. Um, I thought with the streak it would go to the same spot, but unfortunately it doesn't. The wheel route will be just fine. So you see here just a simple wheel route. And what you'll notice here is he's going to cut up, and when he cuts inside, he's going to get inside if they don't have a yellow zone right there. So now they have to have a vertical hook and a curl flat to stop the slant post stuff, but now they also have to have something to stop this fullback uh, with. Another cool little setup, if you want to kind of get a little interesting, is you could do something like this little trail route to the tight end. Um, we know the trail route is one of the best routes in the game every single year for beating man and zone. But uh, all in all, this is a really, really, really good setup, and it's going to do a really good job of – kind of breaking down a lot of the standard ways people are going to try to defend this offense. If you guys want to take your Madden game to the next level, join the Patreon today. $10 will get you access to all of my Madden 23 uh, and 24 uh, offensive and defensive ebooks that we have available in the Patreon. I already got stuff for Madden 24 in there. So join the Patreon today. It'll guarantee you it'll make you a better Madden player. You can sign up by clicking the link down in the description below.